Will the magical life of Manny Pacquiao over the course of the past couple of years continue? The difference in hand speed will be immediately apparent. Don't step on it, don't step on it. Pacquiao's left hand was blocked by Claudi's gloves. Claudi is not throwing. He's really only thrown a few punches so far. Pacquiao is seeing most of his stuff blocked, but gets a little left hand in there. But right now it's fighting his fight, and it's, and it's what he should do. He can never try to match Manny with punch for punch. That's not him. But I think the way he's fighting, trying to just get close and eventually start shooting a little pecky right hand lead through the center is what he's got to do. Claudi went into his deep defensive guard at that time, both hands up, gloves in front of his face. Pacquiao banged away against his arms as they went to the ropes. I, I think these first few minutes have enormous significance. Claudi came out looking like he wants to see what this force of nature is all about. And I think Pacquiao has to impress him here to keep him on the defensive. So far, Claudi doesn't look overly impressed. Yeah, this was always ridiculous. I think it's going to be a long fight. Well, Claudi's so much bigger and stronger. Yeah, but you know, but and plus he's skilled and talented, particularly as a defender. So how could it be an easy fight? It can't. You're right. And, and the best thing that Manny can do is try to catch Claudi when he punches. That's when he's most vulnerable. Not right now. But already you see the problem for Claudi in terms of the punch output equation. How can he win rounds when he's throwing about one punch for every three or four that Pacquiao releases, or so it appears? Body shot by Pacquiao. Claudi is short with the jab. It seems unlikely that Claudi can win rounds short of hurting Pacquiao, but he has shown in this first round that he can catch Pacquiao clean. And just did there with a jab. Exactly. He can't land the shot. You'll probably see Claudi started landing with the short punches, just like he tried to do right there. Just as Manny backs away and he's relaxing, those little shots come out such a short distance where he can't see them. The question is. Can Claudi at any point hurt Pacquiao with one of these straight shots he's shooting up the middle? He may not, but after going down the stretch, I think the fight's going to be a very tight fight, I think. And right now, the fight is going more to Claudi's planning, I think, than, than Manny, because they thought Manny thought he would be able to penetrate a little bit. Back. So, will Pacquiao be patient? Can he take several rounds and try to construct a way of picking Claudi apart? The way he's throwing shots, but he still hasn't been able to do too much. And, the main thing, I think he start, should start preparing himself to try to win a decision, as I said earlier. Well, he's preparing to win a decision because, unless I'm totally out to lunch here, and barring a big change, he'll exit this round up two rounds to nothing on the scorecards. The belt line, it didn't do any real damage. Oh, There's another one right on the belt. Raphael is letting both fighters throw at the belt line. There's a combination for Pacquiao. And he manages to rip a left through the guard. Claudi pretends to wobble. Usually a sign that a fighter's actually hurt. It doesn't look like Claudi was hurt there. No, Claudi's not hurt. I think really he's getting very comfortable in this fight right now. Claudi tried the first couple of uppercuts a moment ago. That's what he hopes will be a big weapon. But when he throws the uppercut with the left, Pacquiao will counter with that brilliant right hook of his. That's been a very damaging punch. There's a good left for Claudi straight onto the face of Pacquiao. Claudi is landing the effect of punches. Manny's throwing them, but the really effect of those short point to point punches is more effective from Claudi than from Manny at this stage. And yet Claudi's losing this round by a wide margin. Agreed. feels comfortable with what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, but Manny is winning the fight. He's doing what he's saying. He's got to remember to keep just doing what he's doing, just out-punching this guy. Don't go for a knockout. Yeah, what he's Claudi has not throwing so many punches, and he thought maybe he could. No, he can't stop him from doing that. Manny's going to throw punches. But I, I don't get a certain point. You start getting a little frustrated still when you're throwing punches, and really, for clean punches yourself, you're not landing anything. To me, still, the effect of punches is from Claudi. Of the punches that Pacquiao's throwing. Claudi's making every punch count, but he, as Jim, you say, he needs to throw I, more I often. I see different. I see Claudi landing the screen straight punches, the clean punches. Perhaps, Emmanuel, but he threw 27 and landed five in the last round. 
and, and but Manny threw 96. I said Manny's winning yeah. the fight, okay. but I'm All saying right. the clean effect of punches are still to me kind the of clean, The cleaner punches. There's not enough of them. Yeah, it's not the, enough. And they're cleaner punches, but even when Claudie's blocking some of these Pacquiao shots, they're partially blocked. They're also partially landing. And Manny, interestingly, has shown more focus to the body in the first couple rounds than I think I've seen from him in quite a while. Looks like Pacquiao's also felt, felt Claudie's power more in this third round. Definitely. His, his head was snapped up by a, an uppercut. But nothing stops him from pouring the punches on. A minute left in the round. He's already thrown 61 punches in the round. Hard right hand by Claudie. Best punch of the fight. This decision. Do not get frustrated. One of these crisp counters of Claudie's that you pointed out, Emmanuel, has to land hard enough to hurt Pacquiao, I think. At some point in the fight, it doesn't have to be right now, but at some point he has to throw it with real conviction. I agree. Here you see, which is maybe typical of, the, of Claudie's effective punches, the little simple, little straight little shots that he's landing, but the problem is he's not throwing enough of them. But his punches are... 181, and Claudie has only thrown 100 in the first three rounds. So Manny is averaging 93 punches. Okay, Jim, three to nothing, 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. You know, Jim, he's so smart, it's amazing. You know, you come out and you see a guy covered up like Winky Wright, hands held high, elbows in tight. What do you do? You step around. Manny Pacquiao keeps stepping around the guy and whacking him in the ribs and piling up points. Forget the fact that he's breaking him down. You see, he'll step right there. See, he steps around and he usually follows it with a, there he goes, stepping around again, banging to the body. Harold, you, and Manny. you agree this is the most body punching we've seen Pacquiao do? Oh, yeah. I mean, beautiful body punching, no question. This guy's covered up. You can't hit him. Pacquiao hit cleanly to the head. More than we've seen him hit cleanly to the head in the Diaz, De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto fights combined, I think. And Cotto had some success early. Yes, he did. Most people gave Cotto a couple of rounds. The first and the fifth. Pacquiao looked like threw a, threw a right and left hand at the same time, like clapped Cotty. Cotty. <laughs> Harold, what was Raphael dealing with Jim, there? Jim, you can't hit the guy with two hands. Ah. Manny Pacquiao threw two hands at once. Raphael, oh, oh, here we go. Cotty backed into a corner and for a moment was inert as Manny banged away. I'm not sure what's happening to Joshua Cotty and why he's not throwing Emmanuel. There he goes. Went a long time without releasing his hands there. Yeah, that's a Manny's scoring those points too in the meantime. Well, I think Manny's breaking his guard down. It looks to me as though he's starting to land more. Both guys are fighting the, the fight that they plan to a great degree. It's what's going to be interesting to see who wins out in the end. Because Pacquiao said he's going to be punching, moving in and out, side to side, giving him angles. Clyde said he's going to cut cover up and try to break his wheel by just letting him punch himself out. So it's going to be interesting to see how this fight finishes up. Those are two hard body shots for Claudie. Well, Pacquiao has hurt and not. Here we see the, I guess the referee called in fresh and rule when he act like, like clapped his head between both heads. Something I've never saw did before. <laughs> and, and, and you see him in the corner where Manny just pummeling him right here with some great shots in there. Nothing that landed that clean, but it was a... mentioned Cutman in Pacquiao's last loss against Eric Morales in 2005. Claudie wanted a trainer who worked with him earlier in his career in Ghana 
Godwin Cote to come here and handle him for a visa for Cote. And uh, that left Clotty having to fight in what account, in, in what amount to makeshift circumstances for him. He's such a veteran and he's so deeply ingrained in his own style that it's hard to imagine it would affect him all that much. But of course, you always want to have the training camp with the trainer you prefer. Yeah, but I, I, I was not too impressed with his training before, so I think Lenny DeHazes would do very well. But relationship with Freddie Roach is probably the strongest relationship of any fighter and trainer in this group. Now, this is when Manny has a good chance to try to hurt Cloudy when he starts punching, and that's when he leaves himself open a little bit. See that? When he punches, he pulls his head up. And that's when Manny has to try to catch him, when he's punching himself. Guards like this and doesn't let his hands go, he's giving the fight away. Yeah, he has no chance. If he punches himself, he may get caught, so that's his safety factor. In the last 30 years, there have been three star fighters from Ghana. The very great Azuma Nelson fought to win in every fight. No flies on him. And both are Ike Quarte and Joshua Clotty have been spectacularly talented in the ring. But going down the stretch in those close fights, Quarte never did stretch out. He was he going to a safety zone. That's why he lost his big fights. And at this stage right here, this fighter here is looked like he's just worried of getting tired. Not of willing of to lay hit. himself on not the line to try to win the fight. Right. But but this is how Claudie fights, and normally it's enough to win. In uh, you know, except when he stepped up against the That's best right. Guy. But he knew he was fighting Manny Pacquiao. When he steps up in class, he loses. And those what fights. we all knew is that he would have to be someone he's not to win. We're asking a lot of him. Right. He's, and he's being he's, who he's, he is. He's he's and and I think it's really a testament to Pacquiao. So far. moves too much. Commands the ring too much. He's been in charge of the ring. And yet, and yet, Claudie is landing. Yep. Lands both, of the, lands both of those right hands. Lands that combination. But now here comes Manny. This is a very active round by Claudie's standards. And, and Pacquiao still outthrowing him. I think he would do more if he would throw more punches me to Cloudy, but you know, it's somewhere along the line. I know Manny is a machine, but you know, I, I don't know if he's gonna get tired physically or mentally. But too. Emmanuel, as you mentioned, Cloudy doesn't open up because that's when Manny Pacquiao catches opponents in combinations, in exchanges. Well, the best way to stay on your feet is not to open up against Pacquiao. It's another onslaught by Pacquiao to cement the round. He's clear, you know, Cloudy's not known for a high out punch output in the first place um, and now he's facing a guy who can punch and who's throwing a hundred punches around and stepping around him and boxing him beautifully you move your hands at your own peril a big thing is that Claudie just isn't trying to counter Pacquiao he's not taking advantage of Pacquiao's aggression in any way that's what he would have to do it seems no, to me he, to win the fight he don't want to take a risk well that you can't win unless you're going to take a risk. I'd knock them down. But, and everything you're saying, guys, is right. But I see a well, I see a mouse on Randy Pacquiao's right eye. I've seen him hit here in this fight more than he's been hit against, as I mentioned, De La Hoya, Cotto, um, Diaz, Hatton. I mean, he's Pacquiao's defense and ring general Pacquiao, on the other hand, is averaging nearly 100 pun punches thrown per round against a guy who's bigger and stronger. Manny Pacquiao is amazing. It's as simple as that. I guess that's that's my point, Jim, is I see this as a brilliant Pacquiao more than a scared Clotty. Remember, of course, that regardless of the outcome of tonight's fight, Pacquiao begins a political campaign for a position in the national legislature of the Philippines on March 26th and if he's elected he enters the legislature as a representative in July and who knows what that would do to his body also Claudie while being physically strong and having talent is not exactly an A plus talent fighter he's not the fastest guy in the world he's not the biggest puncher more like an A minus talent fighter. Yes. And at the end of the day, you okay? Let's go. Maybe you never okay? enough offensive Let's game go. to really go to the top.
There you go. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. Body shot, body shot. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Try and stop it. Bang, bang. Here I come. Bang. Do you want to throw sometime? Bang. This is the Manny Pacquiao who has dominated boxing for the past three years. Bang. Claudie must really take chances because the win is already out of reach if he doesn't. It's going to have to be a knockout for him to win. I'm sorry, whether he was intimidated by Pacquiao's reputation or intimidated by what Pacquiao did in the ring or whether he didn't mentally prepare in such a way to be ready to take the risks, he hasn't given himself any chance in the fight. Well, this is him fighting his regular fight to me. Yeah, er yeah, early on. Regular fight. Man is doing the, the, the Claudio on him. He's, yep, locked, he's, he's covering blocking, up. blocking those shots. Yep. And hoping he can keep him punching like that and maybe he can catch him. Manny's defense has improved during the fight. Yes. It is. Like that. And that. <laughs> what an amazing combination puncher this man is. What a fabulous offensive fighting machine. Yes, as a crowd has never been in this type of a challenge. And to me, I see him just falling apart mentally. Early on, he seemed to be trying to take Pacquiao's measure. Look at this. I can hit him cleanly. Maybe I can set him up. And at some point along the way, Pacquiao, it seems, has convinced him he can't win the fight. Bang away against Joshua Clotty's guard, occasionally getting a punch around the guard or through it. And Clotty throws one punch at a time, as he's done all night long. Our Max Kellerman winds up in the Pacquiao corner with training Leonard De Lenny DeJesus. Max, take it away. Lenny DeJesus, early on, Claudi seemed to be countering at times effectively, never moving his hands enough. At this point, he obviously needs something dramatic to win. What's going on? I'm telling you, he went back to his old style. Uh, he's trying to push him to throw more punches because if he throw punches, he create openings, but he's not doing that. I think he's being too cautious. In the game, he has to take a chance, but he's not. Why do you think that is? I think he's feeling uh, Manny power, uh, power, Manny Pacquiao's power. And he doesn't want to take the chance. Simple as that. Thanks, Lenny. Fascinating. Two years ago, Pacquiao was fighting at 135. Now Lenny believes that Claudia is scared of his power. I think exactly the same way. I think he felt that power for the manage, and then he, he's, and he, and he took it so he don't want to take a risk. And that's just why Manny is a champion. Manny will gamble. You know, when you're fighting for the championship, you don't try to win the title from a champion. You take it from him. You come in with that attitude, I'm going to take it. This is mine. Give it to me. Well, and he's I, not fighting that way. He's just trying to just survive. You know, don't get hurt. You know, do that later on. But you're fighting for the championship of the world, man. Let it all go. Now, here's another point, and you just made this point about Pacquiao, really. You cannot be a great offensive fighter without taking risks. Manny Pacquiao is never afraid to take risks. Right. And that's why he's a champ. You know, and to me, I didn't fight. I mean, it's, it's oh. just out of knockout. It's just let me just start putting these, you know, they're like putting money in the bank, start building up, building up. And that's what I thought he should do, and he's doing a great job. Those fabulous assets. I'm beginning to think that his greatest is his heart. Well, he thinks and fights like a champion. And that's what makes him a champion. are made on the inside. What man is doing. What he gets hit body back, and he comes right back. If you hit me, I'm going to come back with five that's more the, punches. That's, that's what the a champion does. Right. right. And Claudia, it doesn't have that in him. That's the difference. Oh, what a display. What an amazing display by Pacquiao. Claudia's having maybe his best round, and Pacquiao is rising He's to the occasion. He's take it right back from him. He's not going to let him have it. Savage is Claudia with the left hand. 
But man is going to take this part of this round right back. He's Absolutely right. Hit. That's it. He'll let Claudia have a couple of punches here and there, but then he rallies. So this is more impressive because here's a fight where he's fighting a guy who doesn't punch much. I mean, he's got to throw almost double what he normally would have to throw in a, with an opponent who would be punching back. Look, we know what Claudia is. He's not an elite champion pound Hard for pound kind by of fighter. Claudia. But we also know he's Ford Pacquiao if it would have helped him. It wouldn't have made any difference. We, we do know that Claudi is a top welterweight. Knowing this, scouting report, so to speak. Surely, the winner of Mosley Mayweather on May 1 is going to be looking forward to the possibility of getting together with Pacquiao. What are they seeing? What are they looking at as they watch every other opponent in his career? Well, in Mosley's mind, he's probably thinking, I'll trade with him. Let's see if he's as hard a puncher as I am. Well, that is the fight, even though it doesn't have a marquee value. That is the fight that would be the best fight that could be made would be Shane Mosley to me. And this man here. Two offensive two, fighters. Two offensive minds, guys who always come right back with flurries whenever they get hit. I mean, that, that, in, in well, terms of the, what would occur in the ring. Regardless of why much excitement is generated during the fight itself. That fight is a fight that the public wants and has made themselves. My dream fight with all of it, Manny Pacquiao and a prime Aaron Pryor. The rest of the world's dream fight is Pacquiao and Mayweather and their dream takes care of business against Mosley. Down the stretch they come. It looks as though Manny Pacquiao's spectacular winning streak continues. Joshua Clotty to the finish. Harold Letterman didn't find the courtesy round to give to Clotty. All three to the winner by unanimous decision. The fighting pride of the Philippines and still WBO welterweight champion of the world, Manny. Pac-Man!